What's up Capricorn? Welcome to my channel where I do weekly pick a card readings that challenge you to explore all things growth. This is our Capricorn timeless reading so whenever you find it or it finds you it is now your time to receive these messages. However, let's still keep in mind that this is a collective reading just because we are all Capricorns does not mean we share the same energy. So take what resonates with you and leave on the table for who it belongs to. We're starting with the tarot. It's a thick stack. Grab your tea. <laughs> Grab your snack. Sit tight. It will be in depth. Here we go. The High Priestess. I love this already. I'm loving this reading already on the very first card of this thick ass deck. This is time to pause and reflect, not take action. Trust in your trust in your spiritual gifts, and nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. Mm -hmm. Right, we got a spirit guide. We know what we're doing. We need to take time to breathe and meditate. Your most satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passions, listening to your heart, and doing what brings you joy. Your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth out into the world. Nice. Queen of Spring. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest the dreams that you may have. Sorry. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. Okay, this reading is telling us, Capricorn, that not only should we be trusting our intuition, but we should start understanding that we are worth more and we can start expecting more um, for ourselves. Um, do you see all this abundance around you and this blue ribbon you got? You need to start believing that you can you can create that. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest. So um, this let's put our crown on. Okay. So this. Um, negative self-image that you have of yourself it's because um all of your obligations that are uh, weighing you down right now so take time to uh breathe and reflect and pause and get everything in order uh understand that just because you have the things going on in your life right now like let's say you have kids that is no reason for you to give up on your hopes and your ability to create this type of life for yourself. So start following your intuition and it'll start bringing you closer to your higher self. Guilt. I release any belief that no longer assists in my soul's growth. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna need some more cards, but um, it looks like you're all up in your headspace, Capricorn. Yep. <laughs> There's that crown chakra. There's that crown chakra. Thank you, spirit. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yes. Okay. So um. We got some self-care and some self-love that we got to do so we can uh, put our crown on. I don't understand why it's just sitting there. I don't understand that, Capricorn. You have to start believing in this type of energy in yourself. Start putting yourself out there more. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. There's that intuition. Purple, purple, crown, third eye. We need to get it together, Capricorn. Okay. Okay. 
So a lot of us need to uh, really breathe it out and accept the things that we cannot change. Some of us are feeling guilty about maybe not following our dreams when we should have or when we thought we should have. But stop getting lost in that concept of time because that three is telling you that you have so much room for growth. But that too is saying it's um, it's not happening because you're repeating the same old stuff over and over again. So you need to step out of that um, step out of that repetitive nature. Start putting yourself out in front of the things that you want. Start trusting yourself more and start trusting people more. Start trusting that you know what path to take. Luck is on your side. Mm-hmm. Right there with that intuition. Pointing right at it. Your commitment is being tested. All right. So I don't know if it's your commitment to your faith, but that purple and that crown and the third eye is what, uh, and you not trusting your intuition. That's where it's pushing me to. You're sitting on a, a, a purple throne. So you stuck in your headspace. Even over here with your intuition, it's stuck in that crown space. Your crown chakra helps you um, connect to spirit. You're, you have a spirit guide right there. Are you connecting? Are you taking the time to connect with your spirit guides? Confidence is your key to success. Courage. Confidence. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Where's this guilt and this fear coming from that's all stuck in your head all the time? Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Hmm, yeah. Some of us need a vacation. Some of us need to go on a hike. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head. Purple, 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 purple. That's the headspace. That's the headspace, Capricorn. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Mm hmm. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. We have to start getting our ducks in a row, Capricorn. We may be being pulled in too many di directions to where we can't, you don't even have time to sit down and focus and meditate for ourselves or take a vacation. Surrender to miracles. Purple all over the place you are blocked, Capricorn. Be open to miracle be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Mm -hmm. Words of abundance. You need a gratitudes list. You need to start believing in this energy, that you can have this. You have the ability to instantly manifest. Ooh, don't underestimate your ability to manifest. You need to start getting some crystals and some candles. You need to start sitting under the moonlight, the sunlight, I don't know, whatever re resonates with you. You need to get out of this crown chakra of business. 
whatever this guilt is coming from, I'm thinking it's from the past because it's staying in your head, girl. If you don't want these manifestation abilities, go ahead and send them over my way because I know how to make it happen, honey. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situations in loving, in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. Nice. So, um... You need to find that sacred space. I think it's out in nature. Ooh, my palm is getting hot. Capricorn, if you're not listening to me right now, <laughs> you need to take your good hand and slap the shit out of yourself. You need to take your crystals and your whatever, whatever tools you use out into nature and start manifesting this abundance. Of course, yes, you need to start taking the steps towards your blah, 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 blah. But you got some magical gifts that you can spread to the world. Look. Nature, that spirit animal stuff. Do the work, yeah. So manifest, so go out in your woods, do the magic, and then start taking the steps. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will take them, will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Mm -hmm. Boom. Start making it happen, Capricorn. Start making it happen. You need to get out of this headspace. Start getting your confidence. And start making it happen. Now. Release resentments about money. <clears throat> yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting. But holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool that you can use to better the world. And this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Mm -hmm. There goes that out in the world again. Yourself and others. So yeah, you really... Either you really want to help the people around you and that's what you focus on too much and not on yourself. Or you have the ability to heal and you don't even know it because you're too stuck in this worry headspace. Sorry, my head hit the dam. <laughs> you're worried too much in this headspace. And there goes my palm again. Mm. So, you have some gifts that are being severely blocked by your crown chakra, Capricorn. Set personal boundaries. Mm. Feel love and proud. That's inner love, self love. Personal boundaries with the people around you and with yourself. If you don't start setting personal boundaries, you're going to hit that burnout. You're giving too much. You're not protecting your energy. Especially if you're around people that need help, you need to protect your own energy from that. That aid is saying you need to start taking action on that right now. Which magic, manifestation, abundance, here we go. The magic you seek is inside of you. Let it flow. Magic coming from within. Stop looking for it on the outside. Capricorn, you can make this magic happen. 
Gratitude. You need a gratitudes list. Once you start this self-care routine, you need to start a gratitudes list and stop worrying. Faith. Do you see how she just like, she's creating the world, she's nourishing the world, being nourished by the world. Her moon is full. That's her intuition. That's her psychic ability. You need to start having some faith, finding structure in your faith, finding connection, believing in your higher power and your higher self and your ability to heal yourself and the other people around you. self-reflection yeah you don't know what's real about yourself you do not know the power that you have you don't know about these manifestation abilities until I just told you so you need to start taking action on them there's another eight meaning action activity fulfillment you could have it. You could have anything you want. Comfort. You're in that comfort zone, Capricorn. You need to step out of your comfort zone. You are divinely guided, divinely guided by your higher self and your higher power. But your crown chakra is blocking all of that. Kill it. Here and now. Now, find some structure and get active. You need to find balance and structure between this crown chakra, your spirit guide, your higher self. This is the time to pause and reflect reflection self-reflect get to know thyself and stop worrying about everyone else around you you cannot you cannot feed the world if your plate is empty capricorn so if your energies are zapped because you're sucking up everybody's negative energy because you're not protecting yourself you're not protecting your in yourself from the energy of the world around you magical map shifter how many times does spirit need to say it that you're a magician with mad intuitive skills there's the seven there's the magician wow wow bone collector Ooh, boy Wow, Capricorn, you need to take your ass out into nature and start making it happen. You, oh my gosh, I just got a rush of powerful energy through me right now with this card right here. The palm is burning hot. Do you see this? could be you out in nature all alone don't bring these damn kids where they at don't bring these damn kids with you Capricorn you need to be by yourself don't got me messed up my whole damn spread because <laughs> you really need to listen to me right now 
There's too much of this on the table. There you go. Girl, you a witch and you didn't even know it. <laughs> And if you didn't know it, if you did know it, Capricorn, listen to me. If you did know it, if you're knowing it, and you're not taking advantage of it, you really need to slap yourself. You really need to. Whole spread. Protecting treasures. Okay. Balance. So, you're harboring something. You're holding on to something. But your spirit guide is saying you need to let it go because it's keeping you in this place. While you're doing is thinking, 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 and worrying, and not utilizing your gifts. Radiance. Yeah, you need to go underneath the sun. What was I saying? Sunlight, moonlight? Yeah. It's the sun. Yep. It's the sun. Capricorn. Earth magic. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you need to release these old resentments. You need to go out in the woods and do that. You need to meditate. You don't even have to go out in the woods, hon. You can go out in your backyard and just connect with that grass out there. Or to a park. It doesn't have to be this serious. But go out there, release this negative energy, release this guilt, that uh, negative self-image, and start believing in the power of yourself, Capricorn. Because until you start doing that, right now, right now, you won't truly be able to be there for the people around you. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. Mm. Your heart's in the right place. Make plans and focus, yes. Pause and reflect. Bask in joy and light, sunlight. Thank you, spirit. You need to connect with your spirit animals, Capricorn. And that sunlight. Make that magic happen. And then... this card VIP section death and magic I just can't I just can't eight nineteen eleven which is a two which is balance again Priestess. Okay. 
Hold on, something's happening here. Purples, mm hmm. And the release, yes. There's something, yeah, of course, that orange coming from the guilt. So you can take that word death how it resonates with you. Some of you it's resonating uh, pretty harshly and some of you it's, uh, it's connected with this release of this guilt. Because again, I'll say it again, <laughs> because spirit obviously wants me to keep repeating it to you. Because obviously they've been trying to repeat it to you through your animal spirit guides and you haven't been paying attention. Look at you. Your spirit guide is right there and you're like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They're trying to tell you something and you're not listening. We need to really connect with nature and the divine. Start releasing this old negative energy. Some of it is because of a death, and some of us, it's because it just needs to die. Focus, mm-hmm. Structure. Structure in the head. Mental health. Capricorn, we need to start focusing on that. The moon, oh my god, with the high priestess. You got some mad intuitive abilities. Some of you could be being shaded from something. Your moon is in full. Either someone's lying to you or you're lying to yourself. Either you're in deep denial about this guilt and this past stuff or someone close to you does not have your best interest at heart and you can't see that. But you need to take time to breathe and reflect. And once you connect to the vine, you'll start being able to see and connect more. What's right in front of you. Okay. <laughs> so remember how earlier I was like the sun, the moon. And then I was like, oh, it's the sun. You got to be under the sun. You can make magic anywhere. <laughs> Make the magic anywhere, Capricorn, under the sun, under the moon. You can make it happen. Obstacles or detours in the right direction. All right, so take any, all of this worry, all of this crown chakra stuff this past resentment and guilt everything that you've gone through is a stepping stone to lead you to where you're supposed to be which is apparently healing the world it's only people that it, I don't know how to say this without it sounding shitty but it's only the people that have been really damaged that can heal the world because if you don't experience life the way some of us have experienced it, <laughs> then you don't really um, have anything to base your advice on, really. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Nice. Yes. 
So um, st start taking our obstacles and start learning from them. So anything that's put in front of you that you feel may be keeping you from your goals, sit down, take time to reflect underneath the sun, underneath the moon, whatever you want to do, <laughs> and ask yourself, your higher self, your higher power, what it is you're needing to learn from this situation. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. Yes. Start reaching out to other people as well. You are supported. I am a person who succeeds in all that I do each day. These are your I am affirmations. I am. A person who responds by finding the silver lining in all situations, circumstances, and events in my life. I was just saying that over here with this obstacles card. <laughs> obstacles. So all the shitty shit shit that you've been through is so that you can teach the world how to not go through that shit. Unfortunately, is what I was blubbering about over here. Mumbling about over here with this card. <laughs> is all the stuff... That you're like, damn, I've been through a lot. Is so that you can teach the world how not to do that. I'm learning that about myself. <laughs> I am surrounded by limitless abundance each day. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Limitless. You have support. Start letting that support in. Support, abundance, success. Look at that. Start aiming that arrow. Finding more structure in your headspace. Mental health, Capricorn. Relationships are assignments for optimal growth and healing. Relationships. Letting love in. Connecting with other people and to the divine optimal growth and healing peace Daddy. is in my pulse mm, mm, mm. last card Capricorn I let my intimate relationships be my greatest learning devices for spiritual growth and healing man you are a healer Capricorn you feel like you're damaged goods. And that's why you won't put this crown on. But you are a healer, my friend. You a witch, you a wizard, you a, you a psychic. <laughs> you need to find that peace that's within you. And that's how you're going to heal, heal, heal the world. Capricorn. If this reading resonated with you, please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Please like, comment, share with other Capricorns. And subscribe. It's free. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. And be mindful of your growth. Watch them grow, perceive devote. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow.